Good morning children. I am Nisha, your teacher of English and today I am going to discuss the next poem and the name of the poem is How to Tell Wild Animals. The name of the book is The First Flight. It's poem number 4 and it has been written by Carlin Wells. So dear children, in this poem, first let's try to discuss the title how to tell wild animals what is the meaning of tell here it does not mean that we are going to tell something to the wild animals here tell means recognize it means how we are going to recognize wild animals in this poem the poet is describing the various wild animals all these wild animals are very very dangerous and she has introduced them one by one in a very funny way. So first of all, she is telling us about Asian lion. So let's see the poem, the first paragraph. If you ever should go by chance to the jungle in the east, and if there should to you advance a large and tawny beast, if he roars at you as you are dying, you will know it is the Asian lion. So, first of all, I am telling you, what is the meaning of tawny here? Tawny means yellowish brown color. So, in this paragraph, the poet is telling us, or telling the readers, that how they can recognize various animals in the jungle in the east. So in the first stanza, she says, that if the reader come across an animal, whose skin is yellowish brown in color. You can see the lion here. Its skin is yellowish brown in color. And if it roars at him so strongly that he can die out of fear, it means that he has seen, he has enc encountered an Asian lion. She has humorously explained that Asian lion which could kill a person with its roar only. Next paragraph. Or if sometime when roaming round, a noble beast greets you with black stripes on a yellow ground, just notice if he eats you. This simple rule may help you learn the Bengal tiger to discern. So first here, what meaning? Here, see the word noble. So noble means high bone. The one who is born in a high family. And second word is discern. Discern means recognize. You can recognize the animal. Now the poet is explaining that an animal that roams around in the jungle and belongs to a royal family, royal clan. The color of its skin is yellowish you can see here with black stripes she says that if you notice that he kills you and eats you up then this means that you have surely seen a Bengal tiger this time also she has used humorous way to explain how a tiger looks like because once a person has been eaten up by a wild animal there is no use in determining which animal it is next paragraph strolling forth a beast you view whose high risk sports is peppered as soon as he has leapt on you you will know it is the leopard it will do no good to roar with pain will only lap and lap again. What meanings? Strolling means walking casually. Fourth, fourth means forward. Hide, hide it does not mean hide and seek. Here hide means the skin of animal. And peppered, it means here the spores on the skin of the animal. 
L E P T. It's not left. It's L E A P T. Actually, it means jump towards someone. The poet says that if you are casually walking in a jungle, you will meet an animal who has a skin with spots on it. This animal is so fast. You can see. This animal is so fast that it will leap on you at once, which means that it will jump on you. This jumping is an indication that it is none other than the leopard. Moreover, she adds that if you will cry out in pain, it is not going to be of any use, as it will keep on jumping on you. So, in this stanza, the poet has told us how we can recognize. A leopard, by its leap only, it will leap on us so fast. The next stanza. If when you are walking around your yard, you meet a creature there who hugs you very very hard, be sure it's a bear. If you have any doubts, I guess he will give you just one more caress. word meaning yard means it is not the measurement of length it means the backyard or the lawn area of a house cares means a gentle touch so in this stanza the poet is telling us that if you are walking in the lawn area of your house and you meet a creature Which hugs you tightly, it's a bear. You can see, it's body. She further adds that if you are still in doubt regarding the animal, the easiest way is that he will keep hugging and touching you very gently. This act of his make will show that you are able to identify this animal. You will come to know. that it's a bear next stanza do to distinguish beast of prey in a wise might non plus the crocodile you always may tell from the hyenas thus hyenas come with merry smiles but if they weep they are crocodiles what meaning distinguish means yes differentiate beast of prey means any animals that hunts other animals for food novice novice means somebody who is new to do something who is new to a job a non plus here non plus means confuse to be confused so in this stanza the poet is telling us that someone who is new to the job of recognizing animals it will like a puzzle to recognize animal that hunt other animals for their food so here the poet tries to help out the readers by telling the difference between two animals and who are these two animals they are hyenas and crocodiles he says that hyenas will be smiling whereas if it if it is a crocodile it will be always in tears so both these animals are very very dangerous next danger the true chameleon is small lizard sort of thing isn't any ears at all and not a single wing if there is nothing on the tree it's a chameleon it's a chameleon you see so in this stanza the poet is trying to tell us how we can recognize a chameleon chameleon is small it's a very small creature it looks like a lizard but there are differences between the two and the first is that the chameleon does not have ears the chameleon does not have wings and moreover you can see here children that chameleon has the ability to change its color according to the surface on which it is sitting you can see in the video that the chameleon is changing its color 
therefore if you see a tree and you are not able to see anything why are you not able to see anything because the chameleon has already changed its color according to the surface on its uh, it is sitting so you will find nothing on it and then you can understand you can recognize that it's a chameleon that is sitting on the tree